to eat him for putting all hell upon his people. All right, because the Lord said, vengeance is his. So therefore, the Lord said, rejoice it up in his kingdom that y'all in, because the judgment is coming for y'all. All right? It says, verse 22, it says, the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. All right, and Zion is the children of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. And he will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom, and he will discover thy sins. So the Lord says he's going to uh, visit all right, the children of Edom, all right, so-called white people, for their iniquity for putting his people in slavery, all right, for torturing us, raping us, all right? All these things that, have, that, that they have done to his people. So the Lord said he's not going to no longer carry his people into captivity no more, all right? But he's going to punish the wicked. That's why he says it's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation unto them that trouble you. <coughs> All right? And the Lord said it, man. All his words are faithful and true. So it's going to come to pass. <coughs> I got a scripture for you. I'm going to break it down. Okay. This is Hosea, chapter 1, verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Okay. Which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. So, right now in America, the Ameri in America, we're not called the children of Israel. We are called heathens, all right? Niggas, spits, savages. But the Lord said, In the land where it was called that we were not the children of Israel, there shall it be called that we are the children of Israel, man. All right? Because we're not Africans, man. We came out of the line of Shem, all right? And our forefathers go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Yeah. In addition to that, it says, there shall you be called the sons of God. So who were the sons of God in the beginning and during the time of Genesis? God. <laughs> Those same individuals that are here now. Yeah. I got a backup precept for that. God. Romans 9, 25. And he said also in Isaiah, as I just read, God. I will call them my people. God. Hosea. Which were not my people. God. And her beloved, which was not my which was not beloved. God. You can cut in any time. So, right now, in the time, we are not being called the beloved or the chosen, man. All right, we've been called the niggas, spits, wetbacks. But we are his chosen people. All right, keep going, brother. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living power. So the Lord said, there, in this time, in, in America, we are going to be called the children of the living power, man. Yasha Allah. All right? The children of Israel, man. Oh, and another thing about it. This whole world that the so-called white man built, right, is, is, is always is what's put together to, to, to denounce the children of Israel who they really were. If you look at any other sorts of religions, you got a white God, you got a Hindu God, you got a Muslim God. Where's the face of the, of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Where's their God at? We have to follow behind these other gods. So we're the only ones that have the connection to the true power. All right? Even if society shows you that you're, that you're taught to be nothing in this society, nothing whatsoever. All right, now we have somebody to call upon to, even though these idols were put in the place for, as, a, as, a, as a place of derision for us. Precept. One more precept. I, verse 27. Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea. God. A remnant shall be saved. So a remnant is going to be saved, all right? So we are scattered all over the four corners of the earth, but a remnant, all right? The 144,000 men, all right? 12,000 out of each tribe, all right? And one-third women and children that believe on the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So the Lord said a remnant is going to be saved, not the whole world, man. Not that what they putting in the churches. Because according to the, the Lord, all right, who the world, he can call Jesus Christ. He says, he that endures to the end, the same should be saved. So we are not saved from these. Let, um, the destruction that's going to come to America, right, man. a.k.a. Babylon, all right? The land of confusion, all right? Because this place is going to fall. 
Oh, yeah, and just to add on to what the brother was saying, you're not saved because you get baptized in tap water. <laughs> you get washed by the word, renewing your mind. God. Re renewing the way you think. That's how you get baptized. God. You're renewed. Because you got them same people that are getting dumped in the water, in the tap water, getting so-called baptized. As soon as they leave church, they go fry up a pork chop. God. <laughs> That don't make any sense. You go right back to the rick and perverse things that you that you were supposed to be cleansed from when you got baptized. The baptism is the understanding of the word. I got a quick precept. Yeah. Uh, it says, it says, um, <clears throat> this is uh, Psalms 126 and 1. Uh. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Come Because the Lord is finna turn the captivity of our people, man. All right? Mm -hmm. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Come Because what, what we had just read in Psalms, all right, 149, all right, they're going to be praising the Most High uh -huh. with a two-edged sword in their hand. All right, this is a prophecy that's going to come to pass. Keep going, brother. And our tongue with singing, then said they among the heathens, the Lord hath done great things for them. All right, the heathens going to say this, man. All right, these other nations, man. Because why, man, the Lord, we are the Lord beloved, man. All right, he loved us, man. Keep going, All right. It says, the Lord hath done great things for us, wherefore we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, as the streams of the in the south. Huh. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. So the Lord said, They that sow in tears shall reap joy. All right, that's why He said He know our He know our poverty and our tribulations, but thou art rich. So the Lord is going to turn back our captivity that these other nations have put a hand on His people. All right, because right? we are not Africans, man. We are the ch children of Israel. So the Lord is going to turn back our captivity, man. All right? And we, we no longer going to be in tears no more. Right. We're going to be rejoicing, man. Uh, it says, He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seeds, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his seeds with him. Because right. our, people, our people right now, all right, they ain't doubting. They don't believe. They, they feel like the Lord don't love them, but he say he do love you. Right. That's exactly the word I wanted to use. Psalms 125, it says, They that trust in the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall be as the Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abided forever. So the Lord said, all right, we're going to rejoice, man. All right, we're going to abide forever, man. So, yeah, so it's very important to trust in our power, to love him, man. All right? But only a remnant in these times is going to love him. Two-thirds, they're going to perish in this society. Right? Because they turn their backs. Uh, uh, against, they turn their backs against Yahweh Bashan uh. Just as when Yahweh Shai was on the scene. Uh. It says he came unto his own, right, and his own didn't receive him, roughly uh. paraphrasing. Uh. So the ones in these times, it's going to be the elect that trust in the Lord. Uh. It says, as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people. Come, man, because why? We in his hands, man. All right, we in the hands of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh We in his bosom, all right? He made a promise, a, a promise and a covenant with the children of Israel, not the whole world, right? Not with these heathens, with our people. Right. It says, from henceforth, forever, henceforth, even forever, for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands into iniquity. Right. That was it? Yeah, that was it. You want to speak on that? Well, come on, but basically, that rod of iniquity ain't going to be nowhere in place. Uh, what does it say? Um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, roughly paraphrasing the path of the yeah. righteous are righteous, but they are enticed by the wicked. Nah. All right, so that if wicked enticement is going to be taken out of the way when Esau is brought down. Nah. All right, and, this, and after that, after that, the Lord is going to be so merciful to get rid of them because this is not going to be a place where they're going to want to be. Nah. What does the wicked have to do with the righteous? Once you get a righteous kingdom established on this earth, there's no point for them to be here. All right, so the more is going to be merciful and have, a, and have us search them out and destroy them after they complete their thousand years of slavery. Preach up. Sorry. This is Second uh, Peter uh, chapter 2, and I'm going to start at verse, I'm going to start at verse, uh, start at verse 13. It says, nevertheless, verse 12, it says, 
looking, it says, this is 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 12. It says, looking for, for, it says, looking for the hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh. Oh, looking for and hastening. Still like it. Mm -hmm. Looking for and hastening unto the looking of the day of Yahweh. Unto the, uh, coming. Coming. Looking for a hastening until the coming. Coming. Go right into it. It says, looking for the hastening until the the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire should dissolve. Right, because when a nuclear bomb or ICBM missile, it's called an intercontinental ballistic missile, which is an arrow that's shot from one country to another. And that's what the Bible speaks about. And when they hit the air or the atmosphere, they're going to blow up in the atmosphere. It's going to burn up the elements of what you call heaven or, or the firmament. It's going to melt the elements. And it's going to drop down other warheads. And that's where you get your 200 million missiles spoken of in Revelation, I think, um, 10? Chapter 9. Chapter 9? All right, we, we're going to that later. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right, elements. That means everything you're looking at, too. Everything you look at and see around you. How you doing, sister? Everything you look at and see around you is, is represents an element. Go ahead. Verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, looking for a new heaven and new earth, Wearing the well of righteousness. That's right. So we're looking for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwell of righteousness. Why? Because everything that the so-called white man built, everything that the Chinese, Japanese, Africans, Arabs have built is going to be burned off this earth. All the idols, Zeus, paganism, uh -huh. uh, uh, Buddha, uh, Allah with the, with the, with the uh, cobblestone. cobblestone. Uh -huh. All these idols, all these buildings, everything, man, is going to be torn down. It's nothing but dirt. It's going to be sent back to the dirt, just like our body. Huh. Yeah. Ashes to ashes again. And imagination is going to be sent back to nothing. Huh. Right? Because every, everything we look at is the imagination of a human being. When they accumulated and came together and built something. So that could be torn down. All right? Go ahead, brother. This is, this is Amos! Nine and eight. Right, go ahead, bring it up. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, are upon the temple kingdom. Right, his eyes, the Lord's eyes represent the angels, they represent us, and they represent Yahweh Shah. The so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites of the Bible. And they're usually the ones that don't want to get this truth. All right, the Lord said they were going to be against us. Our own people were going to be hard headed against us. All right, go ahead. It says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So he's going to destroy America from off the face of the earth. Wow, with World War III. The Lord's going to put it in all these nations' minds, just like he's done during the time of the Persians, during the time of the Greeks, during the times of uh, Babylon, during the time of the Assyrians, during the time of the Egyptians, all of those, all of those times, man. During the time of the Canaanite rulers. All right, read that part one more time. God, it says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So the Lord is going to destroy this kingdom as well, off the face of the earth, which is still an extension of Rome. And the Lord said, you shall not see one stone left untouched, unturned. So he said, all of Rome is going to be destroyed, and it hasn't been destroyed yet. That's why we still study Roman numerals. That's why you still have the Western and uh, regular European Union, which is the buildup of Rome. Uh, re, re, uh, the deadly wound being healed on the dragon. The dragon represents the European Union. And you know, you still have NATO, you still have America. Alright, go ahead. So all that's going to be burned off the earth. Starting with America, because that's their power. The power seat is here. The power seat is here. These are the pimps. But the whore is the bait. That's where the money is at. That's the whore. Uh, the whore is America. Alright? Quick as you can, brother. God, it says, and I will destroy okay. from off the face of the earth. Yep. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, says the Lord. Right. So the Lord is going to destroy this from off the face of the earth. But in the midst of that, he's still going to save a remnant of his people. You see that? He's not going to destroy his people, his elect. All right. He's going to destroy what? Uh, get uh, Zechariah 9 and 13, I think it is. 13 and 9. That's crazy. All right. <coughs> it's in Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. It says, and, and it shall come to pass that 
in all the lands of Yahweh. What, yeah, what land? America. Go ahead. Two parts there should be cut off. Two, two parts. That means two thirds are going to be cut off and die. So that means we're going to see two thirds of our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to perish. Just like Noah. Noah was out there preaching, warning people. Saying it's about the flood, it's about the flood. And they were like, man, it didn't rain on the earth yet. We still got the mist and the dew coming from the ground. But they were like, nah, it's gonna rain. But then it wound up raining. The Lord opened up the windows of heaven called the firmament, and he poured in the Shemayim, which is nothing but waters out there in the heavens. We breathe in dissipated water today, what you call oxygen, H2O, right? Two parts hydrogen, one part uh, oxygen, all right? So we still breathing in the same thing that's out there in outer space. And he was warning our people. Just like we're warning you today, another flood is coming. But it's a flood of fire. And it's coming. And it's only one way out. The way out is to turn to Yahweh Shai, the true God of the, of the living power. Yahweh. Alright, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which were dark skinned people, according to the King James Bible. Go ahead, brother. It says, it says, two parts daring should be cut off. Stronger, brother. Two parts daring should be cut off and die. That's right. But the third should be left daring. So that means what? What's the third? The Lord said two thirds of people walking on this earth about to perish, brother. He's numb to it. You know what I mean? In World War Three, but one third gonna be saved. Go ahead, bro. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. So we're being brought through the fire now. What's part of that fire? The furnace of adversity. Being born in this wicked society with a righteous spirit going through hell here. That's called being put in the fire. You only put gold in fire. You ain't gonna put wood in fire. Cause wood can't handle it. Wood gonna perish. You put gold in it, it's gonna purify it. It's gonna get off all the imp imperfections. You know? So the Lord is merciful for us having us go through things as we get older. You know what I mean? Go ahead. And, and they should call on, the, on my hey, it's name. Not a, it's not about color. Oh, I know that. All right, now. I also know it's through Jesus Christ. Well, that's not his is name. That that's not his name. But name. If you're saying that, you're going to If you're saying that, you're going to perish. You could be an Edomite. Uh, yeah, she Esau. But she I know Esau. My Lord is Satan. Yeah, that's Esau. Sorry right. about that, y'all. No, you don't, man. Yes, I do. Hey, it's cool. It's cool. She Esau. Let her... We all have a. You got your own belief. You got your own belief. Hey, the Lord Black. The book is for us, not for you. And they should call on my name, and I will hear them. And I will say, it is my people. Right. So, wait. We don't matter what she says. We matter what the Most High say. What did he say? Go ahead, brother. Read that part again. It says, and they should call on my name, and I will hear them. That's all we care about. Right, to prove, it, to prove it to them doesn't matter. To prove it to yourself what matters. Because in that day, you're going to be the witness that calls on the Father. You're going to witness your salvation. Forget, forget that idiot. Go ahead. And I, will, and I will hear them. And I will say, it is my people. So that's our proof. The fact of our healing. The Lord said he's going to heal them. Let me slide down again. Huh? The Lord is going to heal us. All right, that's our proof. Go ahead. And they should say, the Lord Yahweh is my power. That's right, and we're going to say that. So that's the witness right there. Because that's their part. That's their part in this. They have to think that. You know what I mean? It's everything opposite of doing the right thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, every, everything. That's right, yin and yang. Everything opposite of, like you said, heaven and hell. That's up or down, yin and yang. You know? So they do everything. Whatever you think is common sense, they're going to do the opposite of that, too. It's like, how can you... The opposite of logical math, they're going to do the opposite of that. It's logical that they're going to lose in this situation, but they don't see it. You see what I mean? So it's like one of them saying, why ask why? <laughs> you don't want to know. You already know the answer. Appreciate yeah. it. Because they're going to get the answer from us. And they don't want to know why. Right. If you ask... They find out why they don't want to know why. Yeah. Sorry. I've seen a bunch of videos. You can spend that the Bible. Yeah. It's like the people, the other Israelites are telling them, we are telling you, we're reading it from the Bible. Look 
Right. Look at the Bible yourself. Take your phone out and do it yourself. Yeah. They don't want to listen. Yeah, it's not for they, them, they, though. They, they, they think, yeah, they don't. They Imagine don't. them listening to King David back then. They were scared of King David. They wanted us to fall. You see that? They still in that spirit, but we just don't have a kingdom. If King David was here, they'd be like, man, I want y'all to fall. They want us to stay down. You see that? So, all right, go ahead. Uh, what was next? Yeah, this is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 42. I'm going to start at verse 24. Right. All things are double, double one against another. And ye have made nothing un, unprofit. Unprofit. Okay. Unprefit. Uh, un, unperfect. Unperfect. Right. It says, so like you. That's a good point. It says, all things are double one against another. And he have made nothing perfect, unperfect. Right. So the Most High made everything by two. The Most High made everything by two. woman and woman. He made them two and twos. Male and female. See that? Good and evil. That's the way he set up this thing, man, upon the earth. Mirror reflections of each other in contrast, in opposite. Alright? Go ahead, brother. Uh, somebody got preached up? Somebody, somebody, somebody? Go ahead, brother. Alright, this is the book hey, of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 22. Let the met Shalaki, let the multitude perish then which was born in vain, and let my great be kept. Oh, start from a little up higher. That great cluster. One more verse up. How many verse? Oh yeah, come. Alright, 